We are now going to learn how to create those leathery patches uh, using a for each node. So the first thing uh, to make this work is to create an attribute. So we go tab, attribute, create. And we you know, move down, attribute, create. We're going to place that between the platonic solid and the subdivide. Now we're doing it here so that we can pick up that information from the original platonic solid. So we're setting up one called patches. It's a primitive class and we're going to put a little expression here called at primnum. So the original um, soccer ball had primitive numbers attached to the pieces um, before they were subdivided. And if we go to the primitives here you can see there's the, the, the 31 primitives and we've now got patch attributes that matches that. So it's a, a nice um, correspondence there, one to one. Now if we go down to the ray node, which is after the subdivision, what we notice is while the polygon numbers have gotten bigger, the patches have associated themselves with the original polygons. And that's hard to see in a chart. So let's visualize that in 3D here. So if we go to this visualizer um, little widget here, we can press the plus sign and we can go marker. This brings up a little option for creating our own display option. So just like we could, let's say, see every polygon or every point or point number, uh, we're going to focus on the patch numbers. So we want to see those on the soccer ball. So we're going to label it patch numbers. Path numbers, meant to be patch numbers. Um, and primitives, and we're going to put the word patches in there, just like we had before. And there we go, we see the numbers popping up on here, and we'll see what that means in just a second. But essentially, we've got our own custom display here on our object. So if we go back to uh, attribute create and we set the display flag there, um, you're going to see what the original soccer ball geometry looked like, and you see the, the polygon numbers there. They became patched attributes, which got transferred down to, and so in the ray node, you see those patch numbers. Um, one of those original polygons now has a whole bunch of them. So we can take advantage of this by putting down a for each uh, loop um, and we're going to do a for each by name and we're going to go and put the poly extrude into there instead of on the outside. Set the display. Nothing's going to happen at first because we haven't defined the, the attribute. We're going to go patches and there we go. We've now poly extruded based on the patches. So each patch gets its own poly extrude um, based on that information that we had flowing down uh, down the chain. Now one of the options on here is we could say well um, you know let's see it as a single pass so there we go. So each patch there it is being being extruded and it, or we can just see everything. Once we have that we're going to want to fuse the places where the where the polygons connect to each other um, and then that will help us uh, do our next step which is to subdivide to create the sort of leathery um, patches. And we subdivide, uh, do that there in the network editor, set the display flag and then uh, we can set the depth to 2. So nice rich piece of geometry here, probably maybe more polygons than we need but it's a good, you know, good for the illustration purposes of this lesson. Uh, we can now go into here and just tweak the poly extrude. Maybe go 0.1 and maybe go negative uh, 0 0.02. Uh, and that just tightens it a little bit. And there we go. We've got our leather patches. So we've created a nice flow of data through this lesson. Um, and we can go back up and call this the soccer ball um, geo. And we'll be using this um, throughout this lesson. And uh, if we wanted to see it rendered, uh, we could, there's an option in the viewport to uh, just say, here, let me, let me render a little bit of that. So you just pick that, pull that down. Um, it's going to now start to render, and we, and we get a sense of what it's going to look like uh, rendered. And we can uh, render a subdivision if we want, and it'll just be a little bit, that little bit smoother. And there we go.